Hi there, Joker here with a new layout for the Page Evans Design Team. And this is my very first layout with the brand new, beautiful Wonders Collection. So here is the 12 by 12 uh, paper pad. Just quickly, you can see how colorful and wonderful it is. So this is what I'm going to use for today's layout, uh, not any of the... Um, single like the double-sided pattern papers I'm just using um, two sheets of papers from the um, paper pad so I just started out with the background for which I use this um, kind of like sky blue um, pattern paper and I mounted it onto a heavyweight cardstock like I always do and then I'm now die cutting my um photo in into a circle shape and in the meantime i fussy cut all the butterflies from the other pattern paper this is also in the paper pad and by the way i don't know if you noticed this is the very first time that the 12 by 12 paper pad has all the 48 designs so um, earlier it was always less so you didn't have um, everything from the collection but now you just get everything once in the uh, paper pad so there's no, no duplicates but you get all the designs I'm really happy about that and so uh, when I first get a collection the first thing I do, I sit with it for a few days, if I can do that, if I have time, uh, because I want to kind of, you know, I want to get to know the collection and see what speaks to me in that moment. And while I'm doing this, I'm also looking at the papers that can be fussy cut and without any idea in my mind I fussy cut those papers so this was one of those um, that I've done and as you could see when I was adding them here or gluing them down uh, some of them have two layers that's because um, I had more butterflies than I needed and I didn't want to use them on another project so I just layered them up you know no other reason and once I uh, created the spider spiral and um, glued them down i really only added a, a little tiny bit of glue in the middle of the butterfly and then once that was done i added some machine stitching in the middle and fluffed up the um, wings of the butterflies all right and now i'm going through this um the um embellishments and trying to see what i can use i've chose a few die cuts from the ephemera pack and now this is the sticker pack and I'm going tone on tone like most of the time and again with these uh, word stickers that are really my favorite I have to use them on every one of my projects I think and then that uh, there's this banner sticker pack uh, that's where I got the so cute from and now I'm going through this sticker another sticker pack uh, or I think this one is called sticker book actually and I chose a few colors from here as well um, a lot of them worked with my photo so that's perfect and then I went with uh, a bunch of different shapes just to you know uh, kind of break up the the pattern so i have some circles i have some larger rectangles and then i have those um, thin sentiments there and that is pretty much the whole layout so um i did not mention that the uh, title is from the chipboard pack because i was talking about something else at the moment uh, at the time and uh, then i'm using another tab 
for um, this is a tab sticker this is uh, what i'm gonna use for my date there is um, a chipboard tab as well at the top but that one I only added for um, interest or I don't know what to say but on the chipboard I would never stamp because it just doesn't the ink doesn't uh, stay on it so that is kind of just a, an embellishment basically no rhyme or reason and now I'm adding some foam tape to all of my um die cuts and then i'm sticking them down um tone on tone so yellow on yellow pink on pink and i'm trying to be mindful with the placement so that they are not um how should i put this they are not next to each other they are not um quite uh in one line you know so it's that they are kind of spread out throughout the page and now I'm writing my journal uh, journaling about my date and then the journaling and what I wanted to mention is that I did not center the photo on the page maybe you can tell from here it's a bit to the um, right and the top because I knew that I wanted to add my title at the bottom left and um, so it just looked better to me this way. So um, the last thing that I do here is adding some gold splat, not gold, white splatters. I was thinking about gold, <laughs> but I uh, prefer white. And um, for this one, I just use some acrylic paint and uh, some water, not too much because otherwise um, the splatters are not gonna stay white and I added a few layers of of the paint maybe three and uh, then I took the photos right after so you will see that the paint didn't even dry yet <laughs> so yeah that's it I hope uh, I could inspire you in some way and thank you very much for watching hope to see you next time bye bye